But girl, the minute you move into your desperate energy and you start chasing him, he's going to move further and further away from you. And so story time, a year ago, I got ghosted pretty badly by a guy who I thought... <laughs> what do you mean by ghosted pretty badly? I mean, certain people have been in car accidents. That's a really bad car accident. But how do you get ghosted pretty badly? Did he not text you like six months? What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're gonna break down some dating stories. So without further ado guys, do not forget to like, comment and share because it helps us out in the algorithm. So Sunday I had two dates. So this is part two, my second- Oh God, grandma's on TikTok. Grandma's on TikTok. Second date from yesterday. <laughs> First of all, he walked in and he was so much more handsome in person than he was in the photos. But the reason why I gave him a chance was because he was very eloquent and lighthearted and a good conversationalist. Okay. He made a reservation at a really nice restaurant. And we met there and had great conversation. What I really liked about him was he had great energy. He was very kind to the wait staff. Yeah. He asked good questions. And his profile said that he worked at a bank. And throughout the night in our conversation, I asked him a little bit about his job and he didn't go into much detail, just that he... Okay, those are all good things. I can't see any specific red flags yet, but I gotta point this out. This woman has been now on TikTok. I don't know, she's over 50 and she's constantly making videos about dating. Now, there's nothing wrong about making dating videos. I mean, you date, that's what people do. But, I mean, if she's got over 300 <laughs> videos of her constantly telling the story about she met this guy and she broke up with this guy and she met this other guy and she broke up with this guy. I mean, the body count is going up there. It is. So for me, at least, I wouldn't want to have a girlfriend which is on TikTok making these kind of videos. I think it's unattractive and I think it's a red flag. And I think that we should also start voicing our opinions about the red flag. So this is giving me the ick. TikTok dating women. Moved around the country a lot for his job, mm. but he was being very humble. And I love that. Because when we walked by his car, it was a beautiful and very expensive Porsche. Hmm. And I love that he did not lead with his money. Or did he ever intend on me? Okay, do you think you're the only girl which is riding his Porsche? I mean, riding in his Porsche. <laughs> Do you think so? I don't think so. I think there are a lot of girls which get to ride the carousel if you catch my drift. Seeing his car. That was just happenstance. We sat in this fancy restaurant watching slap fights on YouTube, laughing hysterically. We had a really great time. He was super fun. Unfortunately, <sighs> it's not going to work out. We just have different goals in life. I guessed it. I mean, if everyone has a problem with you, Maybe you're the problem. Nah, I'm just saying, I don't know. She's probably a great woman and, you know, she's a serial dater. That's what she is. He's a city guy and likes the city life and has never had kids nor wants kids. Mm. And I'm a country girl with four teenagers that likes to get her hands dirty every once in a while. He was from Pakistan, mm. but raised in America. But it just made him exotic and even more. Wait, was he a Pac-Man? <laughs> I'm joking, you know, we can joke around. There are different races. We can joke around about these different races. Don't cancel me, please. More handsome. I had two handsome dates yesterday. <laughs> I two in one day. Okay, let me tell you guys a story. So there was this woman she was in her late 30s, right? And we started dating. I was pretty young. I don't know, maybe 24 when I was dating her, right? I was into older women then. So we were seeing each other for at least three months, right? And then we decided to, because she lives pretty far away from me, and I decided to take a trip to her. So. I took a trip to her and we were hanging out. Everything was good. Uh, I got to meet her kids. You know, you know how it is. The kids got to go. Everything was great, right? And <laughs> at the end of my trip, 
as I'm about to leave, right? Because we're we're not we're not really together and it's more like it's more like a casual thing and I knew about it and she knew about it and she knew that I was dating other women as well. And I remember as I'm about to leave and she's texting this other guy, right? And I remember that I was like I felt so grossed out by it, right? Because the guy on the other line was a really, really nice guy. And I remember her talking to the guy. She she had him on loudspeaker, right? And she was like, uh, when are you gonna come over? I miss you. Let's go on a date sometime. And he's like, yeah, I'd like to take you out on a date and all of that. And I remember being there just after. I was just thinking to myself like, Damn, I wonder how many girls have done this to me when I'm trying to plan a date or whatever. It's like, it's crazy. It really opens your eyes to female nature and how ruthless they can be. I think women are more ruthless when it comes to dating than men. I also told him my three month rule and he didn't flinch. He was like, yeah, that makes sense. If you want a long term relationship, you actually got to take the time to get to know the person. 100%. And I respected him so much more for that. So if there's any city girls in the Charlotte area who want a real... I don't know about that. No one really wants your leftovers, ma'am. Let's see here. I went on a date last night and the guy said something so offensive that I got up and walked out in Damn. the middle of the date. I've actually never done that before. Like I've never... 45 ever just fully stood up and left and said leave me alone in the middle of the date but there's a first time for everything i still can't fully believe that this happened so we went to go get drinks and appetizers and this all happened at like minute tw by the way guys if you're going on a date nowadays coffee dates perfect don't do the whole dinner thing because it's just a waste of time for me at least i do a coffee date and see if we're vibing if we're not vibing we don't have to waste any more time and plus I don't have to waste any more money. So something to think about. 24. So we had drinks, but no food. We'd like just started talking. I knew pretty early on in the date that I wasn't that into him, but I still try to keep an open mind if I go on a date and like within the first 10 minutes, I'm like, this is probably not someone I would date. Cause you never know. Sometimes people are just nervous and they take a second to open up. But okay. generally speaking, I just was not feeling it. <laughs> but we're just making conversation and we start talking about like what we like to do on the weekends. And he's like, oh, I like to go to church. And he says, you're Jewish, right? Because It's a great thing going to church on the weekends. What's wrong with that? I'm a church boy on my profile where we matched it said that i'm jewish because i am but he said it really loudly and we were in public he was like oh you're jewish right and just generally with the culture of how things are right now i don't tend to like scream that i'm jewish in public places wait why why not what did you guys do anything weird lately jewish people are some of the kindest people which i've ever met what's wrong with that i mean you guys did the whole thing with kanye west so I don't understand what the problem is, you know? You gotta explain that a little bit more. You gotta go a little more into detail, ma'am. Because people are insane. So I kind of made a joke and was like, I am, but I don't tend to like scream it in public places. Very lighthearted, just kind of poking fun at the fact that he had like said it quite loudly. He proceeded to spew the most anti-Semitic, offensive bullshit I've ever heard in my life. Like- Okay, let's hear the anti-Semitic B word. In this monologue, the phrase, I would be embarrassed to be a Jew came out of his mouth. So I don't really know where he got the audacity or why he went out with me if he hates Jewish people because he literally knew that I was Jewish or if he just wanted an opportunity to say a bunch of anti-Semitic bullshit to a Jewish person. Not really sure what he was getting at there, but I got up and left. Have you guys noticed that they're copying each other? All of them, the way that they're talking now, every single girl sounds exactly the same when they're talking. That's weird. They're mimicking each other. I don't like that. Let's change that. Let's update that in the program. You know, come with a new code. I'll tell you a story that basically just sums up how dating in LA has gone for me. So this guy finds me on TikTok and- 25, she is 100% 25 in her peak. DMs mean it's like, hey Sarah, I found you on TikTok. I love your content. I love what you're about. You just seem like a really cool girl. I live in LA and would love to take you out soon. I don't normally always see my DMs, but I did see that one and he was cute too. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it and gave him my number. Never texted me, which 
whatever, it's totally fine, don't know him, doesn't owe me anything, don't know what's going on in his life, didn't really think about it. A month goes by and I'm out at a bar and he must have recognized me or seen me and he comes right up to me and he's like, hey, it's blah, blah, blah from TikTok. Okay. We talk for 30 minutes, it's friendly, it's fun. And then he's like, I'm so sorry I didn't text you. Like I have had so much going on and I was like, oh, no big deal. There's nothing wrong with not texting her. It's a good thing. Don't text, don't be on, you know, give her her space. It's a good strategy there at all and he was like i would still really really love to take you out on a date and i was like yeah sure he uh, never texts me again another month and a half goes by and i get a random text from him but the only problem is i was just like completely over it at that point okay i don't think he's a bad guy and it doesn't mean that he didn't have any like legit things going on in his life but i do believe that when a man really wants something he will make the time for it i've seen it before i know what it looks like at this point in my life i just want a man that knows what he wants and is not afraid to go after The right man, I guess you mean to say. The right man, the one that you're attracted to. That is the man that should approach you. Not the ugly guy, not the friend zone guy. The right man. This guy is a friend zone guy because he let it be twice. He should have made his move, but then again, this is the thing. You don't know where she's going to put you in this category, right? You might be the ugly guy the creepy guy is the ugly guy then we got the friend zone guy and then we got boyfriend material so i guess he's not boyfriend material enough because if she really found him attractive and if he just like blew her away he could actually do this all the time without her even having a problem with it and for free meals and dinner scammers all that are actually past a certain age of I called online dating quits dating after my stands. final experience. I was online dating and I matched with this guy and he was well over in his 50s, his late 50s. Okay. And he asked me for coffee, asked me out for coffee. Perfect. I coffee is the way to go, guys. Coffee, 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 coffee. Don't do anything else but coffee. Great. I said, oh, sir, I don't do coffee. I only do dinner dates. And he said, oh, well, I only do coffee dates. Mm. I don't do dinner dates. I said, okay, that's fine. I don't think we're a match because coffee dates, from my experience, are a waste of time. Fair enough. Most people get coffee and they want to rush back off to work, which is reasonable because mm -hmm. you're enjoying coffee sometime in the morning and yeah. you got to get back to work. And he goes, well, that's what I prefer. I said, that's awesome. I said, you got to understand you're in your 50s. I'm just in my early 30s. Mm. I said, I'm not interested in going to coffee with an older man. Um, and he said, well, I'm not interested in going to coffee with a woman who doesn't have a career, etc. So I make sure I just do coffee so I can fill you out, so I can see that you have a career, you have your own thing going for you. If she's engaging, she's a little bit interested. Now, I, it's very hard for me to gaze the interest but it's a good thing that she's engaging and it's a good thing that he held his ground but then again if you're in your 50s and you don't really have like i don't know if you're not a millionaire you have to have something going for you if you're in your 50s if you're a leonardo dicaprio you can always date these models these girls you're not gonna have a problem but then again 50s yeah, a little bit of a problem when dating. So she's 100% right. She wanted a BMW, but then I guess he could only offer a Honda. Uh, okay, this one is 20, I would have to say, and uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. He will come back to you, even if you think that he's not going to, he will. I just need you to listen to me right okay. now. I know you want to go into desperation mode and into your desperate energy because you want closure. And you want to go into your despy. It's completely understandable to want closure in a situation where yeah. you just didn't get it or can't get it, you know, when they ghosted you or they did something horrible to you. Like you want that closure, you want answers. And that is completely valid. But girl, the minute you move into your desperate energy and you start chasing him, he's going to move further and further away from you. And so story time, a year ago, I got ghosted pretty badly by a guy who I thought... <laughs> what do you mean by ghosted pretty badly? I mean, certain people have been in car accidents that's a really bad car accident, but how do you get ghosted pretty badly? Did he not text you like six months? 
I don't get it. But we had a really strong connection, but out of nowhere, he disappeared on me. And oh. then he, after I wrote him like a long paragraph, because mm. I was really so heartbroken. Emotional. Over the sky. Admittedly, was it granted? Probably not, but I was just shattered and I wrote him this long paragraph and I don't regret it because I let out my emotions, but I knew that that would close the door on him forever because after that you cannot come back from mm. a, you cannot come back from a long paragraph. She's 100% guys and I've seen a lot of guys sending these long paragraphs to women. That is the end of the road guys. When you're sending, I don't know, like a novel or then you know that you have lost her so don't do that even though she disses you even though she's treating you bad even though she treats you like shit the best thing that you can do is be silent and you can block her or you can just move on those are the two things that you can do block move on but she's going to circle back every girl always circle back at least once if you just abruptly cut the contact she's going to come back because she's going to start thinking about you and then the more she thinks about you the text is going to come it's going to appear and this has happened to me so many times where i've been with a girl and i don't know maybe we start fighting or whatever and i'm i'm just quiet i just leave her alone and it always circles back there was this girl actually which she showed up at uh <laughs> i can't even say it because I don't know, she might be watching this, but she showed up after, I don't know, maybe a year of us not talking. She just showed up. So I was like, huh, it's interesting. So the not texting her, the leaving her alone actually works. You cannot come back from a long paragraph, 100%. guys. So he ghosted me pretty, pretty badly. Like he wouldn't get back to me for weeks. And, you know, it was rough. But recently... Guess who DM'd me? Guess who sent me a DM? Hmm. And yeah, it, it obviously didn't work out because did I get a glow up? Yes. Did I use that dis desperation that I felt towards him? Did I use that to make my life better and to further my career and to only focus on myself? And I didn't go on any dates. I didn't flirt with anybody. I had like one cap. She's capping. She did go on dates. She did flirt, but she's just saying this. To make herself look way better on that TikTok. One or two situationships, but the minute I noticed red flags, I cut them off and I just was done with it. I learned how to block people. Okay, that's great. She's in her 20s, so she can do this. She doesn't have that problem of hitting the wall. Well, she's not experiencing the wall yet, but it's gonna come for everybody don't worry about it and the wall everyone hits the wall it's not only female it's men as well style my hair with me while i tell you how i got dumped because of tiktok okay oh, first of all not lawrence we're good so i started doing tiktok in the summer of 2021 six okay. months after a devastating breakup i started my tiktok with dating content i was doing get ready with me's and story times about the dates i was going on at this time i met a man through hinge he was local to the city where i was living at the time not in london it was going well we had been on a number of dates pubs meals films etc i liked him felt like he liked me we got along great i should add the content that i was doing at the time was sharing details about what we did on these dates how they went and what happened it was so fun i want to say we had been on five dates we're planning our sixth and it was a bank holiday monday so we planned a park date with a little blanket and some nibbles just down at one of the local parks it was a sunny day we were excited he picked me up, we drove down to the park, we set ourselves up, and we had a lovely afternoon. We must have been on that date for four hours. Okay. Everything's going great, we're wrapping up the date because everybody had work the next morning. And he goes, just wanna to talk to you about one more thing before we leave. He proceeds to tell me that his mother mm. had seen my TikToks, mm. some of which I had made about him because we were seeing each other and that was my content, and he couldn't do this anymore. The details of the conversation escape me because it's been years. I also blacked out. But the gist was my mom and her friend found your TikTok mm. and I'm not a fan, so this is done. As you can imagine, have It's a huge red flag, huge, when a girl that you're seeing is on TikTok and she's airing out all of your laundry out to TikTok. That's a huge red flag. The problem is 
people might see you it's very very easy to connect you to this girl because they follow her and they know where she's from and if they see her with a guy then she, they're gonna assume so I'm saying as a content creator try not to mix the two but then again it's your livelihood so just be very cautious with that because for me at least I think it's very very unattractive super unattractive when women are just airing it out because it says something about her I want to be with a girl where I can trust her even though we break up I still have somewhat of a connection to her or somewhat of a trust bond can you say that but that's what I want at least I don't want a girl just going to talk shit about me to all of her friends because if she does that then her friends are always going to hate me and it's an uphill battle battling with the friends you can't win against her friends you can't because the friends they'll sit and they'll whisper in her ear even though you know that you're correct the friends will whisper in her ear, hey, text that guy, hey, do this, hey, do that, and you can't fight that. So if you're fighting the friends, you're out of the relationship automatically. Having just been on a four-hour date with this person, mm. I was floored and also humiliated, mm. which I shouldn't have been, by the way. I was just completely spiraling, trying desperately to figure out the fastest way to get out of the situation and go home. In the end, he just drove me home, gave me a hug mm. without even getting out of the car. And I never saw him again, mm. I should say. No beef with this guy. He was very nice and we got along well. But Okay, and that's where I'm going to end this video. Very mature of this man to actually take her out, spend some time with her and give her that decency and respect to break it off in public and not just do it via text because there are a lot of people which do that via text and I think it's somewhat cowardly to do but then again those are my thoughts when it comes to all of these dating videos don't forget to like comment and share and i'll see you guys in the next video bye sauce